Five seconds remain. Radiant's turn to pick. Dyer's turn to pick. Spirit Breaker. Ten seconds. seconds. Radiant must choose. Oracle. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer must choose. Brewmaster! Ten seconds. Five seconds. It is Radiant Span. Morphling. Dyer's turn to ban. Radiant's turn to ban. It is Dyer's ban. Ten seconds remain. It is Radiant Span. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. It is Dyer's ban. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain.
Sam's turn to pick. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. Radiant's turn to pick. Points away. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. Mirana. Radiance turn to pick. Death perfect. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. Radiance turn to battle. Drow Ranger. Turn to ban. <clears throat> Radiance turn to ban. None on this stage shrink from a fight. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds.
seconds. Five seconds. Mars! Who will enforce your will upon the battlefield today? Uh, I, you know, I've been using a lot of predictions, a lot of uh, magical powers. This time I'm going to use that my uh, my bits here, my predictions have been totally not cringe. TNC. Nailed I'll it. go with Black. Like his analysis is too superior for any other Dota analysts that are out there. So, you know. What's wrong? <laughs> On to this game number two, 496 TNC. Big for both teams, but TNC looking much stronger in game number one. So we'll see. Goes into game number two. If uh, maybe we see TNC kind of wrap it up and take the series pretty quickly and uh, potentially take this game pretty quickly. But 496, there were points in the first game where they looked really good. But those first 15 to 20 minutes, uh, you know, they looked like. Like a much better team than they looked in the previous games of the DPC, and you know there was a lot of hope in my eyes watching this team is uh, started to come together, but eventually you're up against that alchemist did fall apart. Yeah, this game they have some late game draw ranger brewmaster like even lena can scale i'm a bit worried because the lineup looks rather squishy you have like drought lena marana these heroes don't like to get jumped and especially lena I, I've, I've said this so i talked about mid lena i'll always try to find something positive but it always surprises me somehow lena most of the time just ends up losing on a mid lane it's very hard to itemize like if you want to get like boots of travel to get the more out of the map your team's not doing well it backfires you get a yule scepter use it offensively you set up a stun suddenly mars is in your face you're dead i'll hold that thought let's see if they can get anything too much armor coming out from the tier 2 tower and regeneration so he's good easy peasy easy escape and uh, yeah I, I you know I, I agree with you on that lena thought We've seen it so many times, Lena dies two times, and then they... It, it's no, it's don't. a lot of pressure to play that Lena, knowing that, like, you slip up one or two times, and that's it. Like, you don't get much more than that. It's a little tough. And especially it's tough. Like, now... we, we see Lena going, like, 5-6-0. 15 minutes in, yeah. then she dies twice, and you feel like, yeah, the, Lena's not having a game anymore. Also, why is Brewmaster on top holding a Sven sword? What is that? Did it kill him? Did it borrow it? What? You're like, this away. this thing is huge. You're giving away Netflix spoilers. Yeah, I watched the anime. It, it's gonna be good. Trust me, guys. 
You, there's this one scene where Brewmaster and Sven, never mind, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, they walk into a bar. Brewmaster, you know, he spends most of the time in a bar anyway. Sven gets drunk and Brewmaster just feels his soul. Wins it off a bed of blood. Great episode. Don't miss it. So yeah. Hey. Four, five, eight. See how he does this game. Uh, you know, I, I thought he had a great performance with that. It just, at the end of the day, it wasn't enough. His team around him started well, to crumble. That's how I feel after every single pub I lose. Like, yeah. Great performance by me. I did everything almost perfect, but rest of the picks, rest of the team, a bit of unluck. Pressured again. Spirit Siphon coming through. And a little Crypt Swarm action for you, Hung, as Armel gets first blood. Kind of walks him down, knew he had the kill, especially when Hung turned around. Tried to uh, maybe deter him with a Dragon Slave, but Armel. That should not happen. Like, that Prophet uh, should not be able to kill Leonite. You picked it to counter that Prophet, Outranger, have burst damage, Nuker. Something that that Prophet doesn't like to play into. Hung now on a high ground. No nice points in stun Armel. yet. The mana for Armel, but the right click to the Spirit Siphon, the man fight. Okay, Lena's game's done. Like, yeah. Lena, <laughs> the, this, this is just over. She TP'd back. Now you're walking back to mid lane. That's... Man. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, try and go... Knuckles to knuckles on that one. And... That Prophet already, like you don't have a point in stun. So that's the problem. Like you can't really just go uphill, try to man up, see what's going to happen. Cause yeah. there is like, Armel was, I don't even have to dodge. Cause there's nothing to dodge. I'm not going to dodge Dragon Slave. So once you come back to the lane, that Prophet's going to be level five and I, oh my God. They even DP in to refill the bottle from that Prophet. Yeah, Tim's died to the uh, Spirit Breaker, and now you've got the refill on the bot. He did that on purpose. Just refill the bot. We see that quite often. You know, it might sound stupid to a casual viewer, but something that uh, players do. Not necessarily feed, but if you get, like, a trade kill to refill the bottle, it's worth it. Lena even used smoke to run down a mid lane faster. That extra bit of a movement. Oh but I'm not sure what the plan here is. Like, you need no. someone to gank. You have one of the better, like, gankers, Spirit Breaker. But it's still hard because that Prophet has two points in Spirit Siphon. She's going to be level six. Four minutes, which is pretty insane. That level six, use Exorcism to just try and take the tier one tower. Then what do you do with it? any answer when you start to lose your uh, pots on the map where you can farm viably. Mel, yeah, he's level 6. 4 minutes, 30 seconds, level 6. He's only level 2, but I, it feels like they do want to make a move. KP bottom, taking a lot of right quick, stat PB. Do to add to that one. Cool down for another five seconds. The rest of the team is probably... Bro, you have to hung in there. You know, they, they all all feel the pain. You know, when your mid laner is getting this dumpstered, everyone is like, yeah, you know, we're going to have a rough game. Yeah, you can definitely feel it around the uh, sides of 4 nines bring this one back it's not that they're down by a lot of net worth either but it's only five minutes into the game like i don't expect them to be down to 3k like it's not time numbers, but things can really start to spiral out of control if they're not careful especially with armel sitting here level six like you've got the ability to put the pressure on siege grief exorcism move forward you've got Bebby to protect you as well as this pangolier go for the tier one tower mid close down the map Whoever shows up is just straight up dead. Lena's level 5. There's not enough burst damage to take out the Dead Prophet. Dead Prophet just hit level 7. Zaro's on cooldown for 6 seconds. They're gone to the Spirit Breaker. You come over, you try to defend. Well, now you're just giving up lives. I'm trying to TP away. 
see how much damage he took so quickly. Now oh, Exorcist is back onto the tier one tower. It may not be Exorcism that kills the tower, but definitely puts the pressure on and well, they've got another kill out of it. Considering how bad mid lane went, it's less than 1k gold lead. So. Side lanes are doing well. 31 CS on a draw ranger. She just hit level six power treads. You know, she's uh, she's farmed, and it's very hard to be in the lane where draw ranger is right now. Way charging from Dap BB. Febby and Tim trying to deal with this spirit breaker. Almost got a kill on the Marana there. Henry, take a look up top. Gabby Red. Just back and forth, you can see Gabby leading the net worth over this through by a little bit and uh, actually down 100 gold to the drought. So. Most open for the Morphling. Both teams. Balance. It's something that Morphling really wants to have. Extra HP region, extra mana region. Once you get like, Please. let's say you play Storm Turret, you get the Jelly plus Arcane Ring. You know your game can't get better than that. Fine. Oh, that SD is gonna die probably. Okay, they fall, fall back. They do not want to fully commit. Mars still not level six. I thought he was six. It's almost eight minutes. I'm a split. They got the stun. They stop Gabby's TP. They're gonna continue with a charge. He's in a lot of trouble with four, five, eight making the rotation. On him again, and well, Gabby's dead to four five eight. Good rotation, good use of the primal split. This is what you want to see from the first play like, you want to get stuff done, and you get the best possible kill in the game. You kill Morphling now that you're gonna put some pressure on the tower. Uh, a reason why we don't see Brewmaster that often is like that he's cooldown dependent. On first split, 140 seconds cooldown, you need to make stuff done if you misuse it. Okay, you misuse it once again. You don't get anything out from that. Uh, you, you just feel like you're not getting it. That BB in a bit of a trouble. Spirit Siphon. Armel is not going to change. They took a tier 1 tower on a mid lane. While 496 will take the top tower. Their bottom tower is still almost full HP. Expect maybe... Armel going around, finding some neutral items. Picked up an arcane, now sends back the fairy's trinket. Good items dropping for Z. Interesting build on a brewmaster. Rush that good straight away. There's a ton of magical damage on TNC side. So. No surprise there, but. You know, not even a bracer, not a bottle. This hero consumes a lot of mana. So needs to have constant clarity. He's running. Hustler as Hung gets the kill on a Gabby bottom. Uh, well, leaps away and they get another kill on to this The and over and on the hunt for Radiant to Slave and a look at really helping Lena get back in. I'll take that. Net worth, and for all of a sudden, Lena is at 4K, and your Mars and your Warfling are 3,300. They're not doing as well. That's not for sure. Yeah, Lena actually managed to recover, especially with the, the last kill. Bottom lane, Brewmaster has that hood, has Primal Split. I don't think he dies. He also has 12 Magic One charges. DNC just checking out how much damage they can deal to him. Almost like they're poking and prodding, hoping that he would use the primal split. Nobody else is really here with him except for the Marana. Marana doesn't have a lot of help to play with, so also I doubt he comes forward to try and help. And Red, he splits. He's not getting much uh, help. Once again, 496, they're doing very well mid lane. Laguna is available. One more hit, we'll do the trick. Tim's, yeah, trying to rolling thunder out of there. And 
going down. Another kill for Hung. That's the double damage. Guna again. TNC, they had shut down this Lina so hard and really given the opportunity for Hung to come back. 496. Except Lina, good laning stage once. Yep. Like they are even ahead. 1k gold lead so far. I'm ready. Looking to pressure this out of tier one. For Dyer's middle tower. Charge on Tarmel, Red coming in, and now they lose that primal split. They've got the arena down, but the stun is now on Armel. Starstorm silence, exorcism. Be enough to stay alive, it looks like it for the moment, but now another stun follows it up with the LSA, and well, Femi and Armel are gone. KP looking like he's next, charges in, make it a third, potentially a fourth, depending on if teams can get out of this. He's rolling thunder in three, but he's been hit with the silence, the LSA once again. He's yeah, gone 496 with a very successful defense of the bottom lane. Another good split by Red. Like they get four kills out of this one. So yeah, I, I like when Brewmaster plays aggressively and he's gonna be able to scale. Like he's getting the levels didn't die a single time. Draw Ranger uncontested. Like Draw Ranger's dealing so much damage to this. Oracle unfortunately needed one CS to be level six there. Could make a, a bit of a difference. Use it on Death Prophet. Exorcist still running. KP. And they, they need to be careful. I feel like TNC have utilized enough the lead that Armel had over the Lina. Just 500 gold. It was a couple thousand a moment ago. Charging on the KP. False promise for the save. They're going to try and go after this. Here, Red without a primal split. So maybe an opportunity to get a couple kills here as they take out Dap BB. Find 4 5 8. And now the spear landing on Red and a swashbuckle in from Tim. They'll get free. So TNC, 4 9 6. Back and forth we go. 496, so we stayed there. Welcome. Yeah. Try to get kill on tier one tower. Draw range was out of mana. They didn't have enough to use silence there. Uh, no primal split. Very weird decision making. Like we can feel the inexperience kicking in when they want to do a bit too much. Like they just kill four heroes. You don't necessarily yeah. need to force another tower. Just reset. Wait for your cooldowns. Possibly with the Moonlight Shadow, try to get a setup. Spirit Breaker is level seven now. I, I love this build of Spirit Breaker. When like all your abilities are good, like what do I go for? I do not want to, you know, look dumb. So I'll, I'll mix it up a bit, you know, put a point here, put a point there. Something that I do as well. Two, two, two. Gabby's been spotted, charge out again. Already morphing into the strength, trying to survive. We'll see if anybody can come over in time to save Gabby. Waveform back to the tower. Bebby's right by him. They've used the primal split. There's a lot of commitment coming in from 496. They don't even get the kill onto Gabby. It's a tough one. Once Marana finishes her spirit vessel, it's going to be so much easier against the Net Prophet, against the Morphling. That's going to be a big item. Even though it is dispellable by two abilities from, from Oracle. Morphling, farming a Mantis style, still very far away from it. So Lina actually recovered nicely. She has Boots of Travel, has Aether Lance, uh, decided to go for the cast range challenge. I'd still prefer if she, you know, mixes things up, maybe get uh, Aetherland's talent so you don't need to go for the cast range. Instead, you get a damage, which allows you to scale. You read it down, it's only around that BB. You'll get the kill on the Spirit Breaker. If only you will. A I may keep the ring. Still rolling thunder. They still working with False Promise. Maybe they can play aggressive if they want on TNC. I'll take that. Still farming away, going man to e -blade. First game pipe. Yeah, I saw him doing a, a blink dagger. It's a good item on a draw ranger. You don't necessarily need to get straight away. Like Manta style pike, a standard into probably BKB eventually. But with the blink dagger, you know, some of these Southeast Asian players, uh, they like to risk a lot. Yeah. And like Blink Dagger's fine, which you can upgrade to them before. 
Blink Dagger, I'm not gonna say... It was not picked up that often on certain heroes, because you couldn't upgrade it. Now with the Swift Blink, with your Cane Blink, and the Underwhelming Blink, you know. It's still a possibility to get it on the heroes that you wouldn't face. I've said the Underwhelming Blink for a That one just... Has been denied. The, the worst one. Gods rebuke on tap BB as he's charging towards Kate. All five heroes committed to Yeah, give me status resistance, Link. Where you blink, Kate, you have 90% status. Is that, uh. Yeah, I think we need a. Imba blink. Back to jump this is the arena that's around Hunger. They use the primal split, the exorcism off. From Armel, looking over at Hustle, and now focuses his attention over onto 458. Has the silence on and the drought gets on top. This is a problem for 458, especially with the rolling thunder coming in. More shots, and that's the swashbuckler to pick him off, but they end losing KP a one for one so far. Gabby. Four seconds, LSA, that misses, but they've got the silence on to Red. Now oh, what warm. a joke. Red, just I mean, back out. Probably still gonna die, but uh, it was a nice try, you know. Goes in, then instantly gets out, uses Drunken Brawler. Still not enough. Good fight from TNC. Uh, arrow missed. Uh, this is what they need to do. Get on top of the Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger right now deals uh, still the most damage in the team fights because Lina went a different route, a spell casting route. Cast range, uh, going into the old scepter. I already said I'm not a big fan of it. I would like to learn to be able to scale. Stop with the rules and that be done. Bottling an arc. That's always one death prop at that point. Right? She will have it for the next fight. Just keep it in. Exorcism will be up. And then you can try to take a fight. Possibly turn that into Roche. You pull skip. I'm getting very close to finishing it off. I should I think she takes Aquila. Now that he dropped. But you can still hold the Possessed Mask, like when you're farming, if you need to, like, cover your HP. Right. Solid item. It's one of the best uh, sounds. It's, it's a decent item, but uh, the sound is too good. Being able to whip someone in Dota just feels so good. And yourself. Even allies, enemies. Thought you could do with it. Rules, arena, and spear lined up. KP not having big problems right now. Go after the Blue Master up into the air once again. They've got the silence. Rolling Thunder comes through. They have the damage to kill him before maybe a potential primal switch. They do. The charge comes in from Dappy B as well as a little good blade out on the Tins. LSA hits onto Bebby. Now the silence. Uh oh. They'll kill the Oracle. And now Gabby trying to get things done with the waveform and focusing his attention on the Dappy B. But they have the LSA as well as the right clicks coming through to our man with the exorcism going. They just don't have the damage to finish him off before he's able to get the rules and survive. And with a crit swarm, will take Hustler's life. Hung and 458 are forced to retreat. That is with the arcane rune, I believe, being used. Yeah, by she that popped draft. it right before the fight started. Febby, something that he loves to do, like potentially throw his body. They invest heavily to get a kill on him. He buys back. I don't think they can get Roche from this, but possibly with the next exorcism. I love the build on that prop. Yule Scepter, Power Treads. Tanking up, getting Heaven's Halberd against the Draw Ranger feels so good, like having the miss chance against the Brulings, as well as some status resistance and the heal amplification. This item just fits that profit so well. Push that forward, Red with the blink. Now the Primal Split, Laguna Blade to the right click on a Fevy. They got the kill, the Cyclone onto the Mars. Now the Yules hit 
on to the Lena. Gabby comes over, adaptive strike, going over at Hung. Not gonna do it up. They're trying to get to the death EV with the gut LSA coming up from Hung. Now they're disarmed out of the Lena as well as the Gus getting out of the death problem. They get the kill on a four by me. They'll go over the Lena. Hung low, Hung gone. See you later. Arena down, but it's only gonna be around red. And I think that's fine with Armel having the spirit siphon as well as now the illusion room that gets popped. Go after red. Throw that spear, but it won't connect. They've got the Yules once again. They have to control. They'll look to kill the Brewmaster. God's rebuke into the trees. Clap. Crypt Swarm. And in the maze they go. Ooh, oh, blank. no. Away. I think you blocked him there with the, an illusion, which allowed Brewmaster to be able to blink out. 496, not respecting the tankiness of the Dead Prophet. I just talked about our items. She was sitting at the Tier 2 Towers, so you get extra... HP, which is also amplified, XP region, and you get extra armor, like the mist chance. 20% it's uh, you know, very hard to pierce. Oh, you can hustle! Radiant, they killed the Roshan, but uh, at least it's something. You know, they get the gold for it. Uh, still gonna be very, very hard. More flank now. I'm gonna say getting out of control once he gets that E-Blade. There is no defensive ability on 496. So once Morphling decides to like go in, you need to itemize to be able to defend yourself. Lena has Yule Scepter to possibly dodge. There's um, Brewmaster with the <laughs> So he can survive the initial burst, but others need to be very careful. <laughs> so Morphling E-Blade. What are TNC brewing up here? What are they looking at? Who is he trying to warp into? We answer that question. Blink dagger by Tim. With the rolling thunder, who is he killing a hustle? Not sure they needed the arena, but why not keep the lockdown on the run? Who is he trying to morph into? Uh, either Dead Prophet or Pango. I think Pango is uh, his target having a swashbuckle, which deals insane amount of damage. This arm shield crash, which gives you the tankiness. That prophet now is level 18, level 3 ulti with your cane rune. She just pops it straight away with the blank dagger, can't close the gap. Now yeah, looking over at 458 with the swashbuckle coming in as well. The waveform, they get the kill to 458. The hook over at FEB with the primal split being used by red. Dappy B goes under the tower. Meanwhile, Red goes the other direction, so they dealt a split away from each other. Focus is on. Spirit Break. The air, KP with the spear. That lands, no problems there. Armel with another one. KP. KP has a blink. Yeah. When he's landing his spells, all good. When he's not, due to lag or delay, we can call him KPing. A lot of clever ones. I did not prepare this stuff. <laughs> no, I, I really did. don't. I'm not at home, you know, sitting about the, and thinking <laughs> like, what, what's um, what am I gonna say about this certain player? But yeah, now now he has the old scepter, blink dagger, much easier to set things up. Lena, invis. Let's see that. That's done. It was not even close. False promise save. We're gonna bleed arena down, but it's gonna be a whip. They're able to leave as the charge comes through from Dap BB. Does stop the Pegler in his tracks for a second. They will still find this Alina. Swashbuckle silence. Boots down with the Spirit Siphon and the Crypt Swarm is enough for Armel to be godlike. As well, Dap BB, he's dusted, trying to run. Look how slow he charges, but now, all right, picks up some speed. He's on the gas, 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 and gets out of there as now Hustler. Well, he's the one who's caught instead. With honor. Another exorcism is up. TNC is just controlling pretty much all the runes. They had the three arcane runes so far on the Dead Prophet. Gabby kills that BB. Yeah, it, it, By itself. Silence. Anta. Immediately trying to TP charges. Not. So buyback from that BB. It, it's slowly falling apart. TNC is kind of a slow team, you know, they're really not that aggressive early on, but once they get things going, get things in the motion, it's um, it's going well. Like, this is their time. They need to start uh, putting some more pressure on the tower. Still tier 2 towers alive, even a tier 1 tower at the top. 
ones to play with. Hell, it's the old one. Going Thunder with the arena land, the spear onto Hung, who gets pushed out of the arena thanks to the rolling thunder. Might have been enough to, to escape on this, but there's the E-Blade showing off for Gabby. They'll get the life of four, five, eight years up into the air. They take out KP. Us, I believe, landed an arrow on that one. Now they'll focus their attention onto the Mirana under the tier two is not gonna help you as Gabby turns into the spirit. The breaker charges you and takes you out. Four, nine, six, they're not giving up. They have the ulti coming through as well as the LSA. The false pump's gonna be there to save Tim's. Silence hits onto Red. He'll fall to the right click and the adaptive strike of Gabby. As Dappy B and Hung are trying to be the only survivors left in this fight. The swash buckle, it hits on a Dappy B, charge away. Is under attack. All the way through top lane. That BB, he stops and, you know, just picks up Arcane Rune. We didn't want to fight another Arcane Rune, Death Prophet. They're lacking damage. They don't have enough damage to kill a single hero, especially if there's a good positioning from the Oracle. Morph is causing a lot of issues with his Mantis now, and E Blade already has that defensive tool. And, like, once he goes in, one guy's just probably dead from the blow up on uh, five eight. Like we said, as afterwards, and did. It did. It did. He's really not having any items. It's very hard. A thousand net worth only. It's a two thousand. Sorry, my eyes are deceiving me. It's still pretty low. Get the spear miss there from JP. Which is in, rooting him off, locking him in, but not enough to get the kill. Moonlight Shadow Committee, but Gabby again now with the kill on a Dap BB. Charge coming in at a four five eight. Uh, they should. Uh, they should definitely stop. Uh, Waveform. Look at four, five, eight. As Febby dies to hung up. Spirit Breaker has two points in charge, two points in Greater Bash. They need to stop killing him if Gabby wants to keep turning into Spirit Breaker. You know, just let him get some levels so your abilities will be stronger. Bit there for four nine. So cast range on LSA is gonna be insane. Cast range talent, ether lens, and psychic headband. Agony scepter done. So that's the burst damage, pure damage coming out from Laguna Blade. Could be able to burst Morphling, maybe DP, ah, but it's gonna be hard. Dead Prophet is super tank, almost yeah. 2.5k HP. If strength power threads are on. Toggling that back and forth. Magic. Valve, if you if you want to sell a product, I think you should collab with Nike or any shoe brand and get treads that actually swap. To I buy them. I'm just thinking about like all the possibilities. Having Dota 2 Nike feeders. This is our newest collection called Feeder Collection. TNC. The best we can do is the left one. You get the left <laughs> one. I'm not sure how you're getting the right one, but. like he wants to make a move actually the whole team looks through going for that axe thousand gold away from that Radiant's middle tower is under attack backs there but they think so as kp and armel oh, 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 finding kp primal split 
Charge came in as the Cyclone was there. KP throws the arena. I feel like he's gonna die first. Bash him from Zappy B. They get to go to KP. It's the Hurricane Pike onto Armel, but he's silenced in trouble and probably dead. He'll fall just like his brother in or brethren hung. A hustle and Dappy B will try to run away from the situation. And the arrow, MB, he's got a blink dagger. Ain't gonna be that easy to hit an arrow on an Oracle. Double kill there for Armel, taking out Hustler. Getting maybe towards Roche, but that's not up for another minute 10. That's just fun. They only managed to kill one hero. Uh, I'm not sure if Febby didn't want to use False Promise or it was on the edge, very close to, you know, just trying to save his teammate. Uh, this game just feels like 496. They were out of the options. You can see like these desperation smokes trying to make stuff happen. You need to go for Oracle, but the, then again, there's going to be some kind of a counter reaction to that, like a Yule Scepter, possibly a disarm, silence. You need to be very, very careful how you approach a fight. Now, doing being down by 12k, uh, this is. So Thousand. Uh, not looking that great. Four nine six. All right, four five eight's gonna commit to that TV. Swashbuckle, rolling thunder, and Galeer's blink is on cooldown. Shard stopping him for a second. They've got the silence out of the Marana. Now the primal foot from the high ground. Looking to believe he's on Tim. Swashbuckle Arena. Nicely placed as well as the charge coming in with the spear hitting the arena. They get the gun on 458. False promise saves Tim's. Um, you're trying to run, but you're getting bounced back by the arena. That's not how this works. You can't just walk out. Once you're a contestant, you're in there for good. And now you're gone. Dead with that BB. Debbie finally falls, but he did save the life of that Pangolier. Charge over on the Hustler, and they'll get themselves a fourth god like there for Gabby. And potentially a another team split. One. Ready in a second. It's available. It's it off, but is he going to get away? They've got one panda. In with two pandas left. Ooh. Remember, he can turn into panda and just blink away. Uh, you don't necessarily need to be in earth mode, yeah. but he does, because that's what Aghanim Scepter gives you. You can see understanding what they need to do yeah. in these fights is just top notch. They go on Draw Ranger every single time. There is no like real counter play. They don't have any saving abilities. They don't have any saving items. Core staff on the Draw Ranger. I mean Pike. There's no Glimmer Cape, so once they get the jump, Draw Ranger is straight up dead. Red wants to go for this. That AC, dude. I really want to see that. Sure. You get that extra ruling that has a disarm. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to matter, but uh, yeah, seeing new stuff in Dota and professional games uh, makes my heart warm. Baby. This combo, like, we've seen it so many times. That arrow blowing up KP, but he gets the, the cheese. cheese. Like 20 health remaining, gets the cheese off. 458, you don't have a cheese, so there's no luxury item that's gonna make it so you get all your health back for you. Well, Gabby will also get the kill on the hung, take out this Lena. KP falls, but two are gone again on 496. Hustler, no TP away. That BB, not so fortunate as Gabby gets a double kill. He's beyond godlike, right on top of the Brewmaster. That Brewmaster is just having no, fun. They, they were dancing. He understands. I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it. Another DP with Arcane Rune, level 26. I, I, I don't know. 496, they had their fun in their laning stage. 10, 15 minutes of the game. Same what happened in game number one. Yeah. Now it just feels completely done. Cheese uh, eaten by Mars, kept him alive, but still died in the end. Aegis available on Morphling. I think this is where the game ends. Coming through and destroying Hustler. And now the charge in from Daffy B, but that is not the proper spot to be in. Shoe crash right on top. Crip Swarm with the adaptive strike. They'll get the kill on Adapt BB. And well, they've got 458 alive again. Maybe they'll 
make an attempt to try and oh, when you said they have salvage something. Four or five, I thought you were gonna say four or five seconds to the side if they're gonna <laughs> call it right now. Uh, no, I, I mean they do, but at the same time they're not gonna call it just yet. Punk just gets obliterated by Gabby. That would be another Ooh, exorcism. exorcism. Man, these are cane rooms actually destroying 496. There's been about eight or nine. It's really disgusting. The arena's down, the GG's called, the 2 0's there for TNC. Totally not cringe prediction. Yeah, TNC is just the better, more experienced team. Pretty much everyone expected. This kind of a result, what you don't expect is your mid laner getting as dumpstered as it happened, you know, straight up die. TPP.